Hello my friends, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, March 9th, 2021. This is Jennifer. Well, I had a very weird week. Uh, I spent most of my week doing some DIY. Very short version of the story is two days before the winter storm hit, we had a plumber here to look at our shower, which was leaking to the outside of the house. And he just told me the grout needed to be replaced. He gave me a couple things to try to make sure that's what it was, um, including running water into a bucket, seeing if there was a leak, then pouring the bucket down the, the drain, seeing if there was a leak. And if that wasn't a leak, then it was the grout. Um, it was pouring rain when he came over, so he couldn't check that himself. So anyway, he told me what to do. I did it, and I didn't have a leak from those. I spent all of last week cleaning out grout, uh, replacing grout, <laughs> doing all of that, and a week of working on my bathroom did what like four months of crochet could not do and re-aggravated my repetitive stress. It hasn't bothered me in ages, but it has been, it's been pretty awful the last week. So I'm hoping now that the DIY is done, I can, you know, give my my neck and my shoulder a couple days to rest because it's it's my right arm and basically my whole like my shoulder down to my fingertips are uncomfortable right now. I haven't had a flare up in uh, probably over a year, so it was pretty shocking to realize that that hasn't gone away. So there we go. Um anyway, so my bathroom shower does not leak anymore. It works perfectly. It looks practically brand new, so I'm really proud of my work. I'm not going to show it to you here cuz it's just a shower. Anyway, so that's that is what I primarily did last week. I do fortunately have some crafty things to show you guys because I had made some things prior to last week that um, did not get posted until Wednesday last week with the Phantom and Stitches post for the Year of Doom. The theme for last week was fictional detectives and I had two contributions because fictional detectives are one of my favorite things. Um, I've actually already done a bunch of Sherlock Holmes patterns which were already on the Phantom and Stitches website. Last week I shared the tiny white van from uh, Number One Ladies Detective Agency. Um, this title, The Principles of Private Detection, is actually from the Number One Ladies Detective Agency books. It's referenced all the time. And the other two titles I made up, uh, Achieving 97% references one of the main characters and the other title I did was The Good Mechanics Handbook. And I gotta tell you guys, piecing already embroidered fabric into here, fussy cutting that and getting it pieced. That stretched my um, my skill set, but I learned a lot from it, so I'm really happy with the way that turned out. But this is a free pattern on Fandom and Stitches for the Year of Doom multi-fandom bookcase quilt along. That one will be for my quilt, this one will be for my husband's, and just uh, in case you missed it, I'm making two coordinating uh, Year of Doom quilts. I don't have a deadline on myself, I'm just making blocks as I feel like making blocks. I have a whole spreadsheet of stuff I want to make. Most of it's already on the website and then I'm adding a few new things. This is my Poirot block. This will be for my husband's part of the quilt. I'm also a huge Poirot fan and I will probably do something for my quilt too, but he specifically requested this image, which is from the very, very Art Deco intro of the David Suchet version of Poirot, which if you haven't seen and if you like Poirot at all, Agatha Christie at all, mysteries at all, you like period pieces at all, I highly recommend, it's amazing. So anyway, this is from the Poro intro, and these are all actual titles of Poro novels. Um, so yeah, so this one, like I said, will be for my husband's part of the quilt. I do not remember if I mentioned it last week, but I did get the pattern pieces in the mail from Becky, and that includes the bloomer pattern that I did not have for my 15-inch uh, Raggedy Ann doll that I was uh, working on. I had all the pattern pieces for all the dolls except for the bloomers, and then uh, I did not have the 15-inch doll body, and Becky sent me all of those pieces, and I'm delighted because my pattern came from my grandmother, and her pattern came from her mom, so I thought that was just really awesome. So I haven't made the apron yet. I do have the pieces cut out, but I did make the bloomers. Um, this fabric is Wilmington Bubble Up, which I love. I bought a fat quarter pack last year and I have a little bit of yardage to you. So I made coordinating bloomers to go with her little dress. Her apron will be the same white uh, bubble up fabric. I did get my rolled hem foot and that's what I did the hems on the bottom of the legs with. So you can see the, the tiny rolled hem. I just decided these are supposed to be turned under a quarter of an inch and just stitched with a raw edge. And I didn't really want an unfinished edge, which I did do that on the dress where it called for it, like on the sleeves are just turned up and hemmed. 
but I wanted that little rolled edge, so I got a rolled hem foot for my Juki. Second try on the scrap piece of fabric went perfectly, and of course it took me 10 times to get it right on the legs, but it's I'm out of practice, haven't done it in years, but it makes such a beautiful edge that I'm willing to, uh, to re- learn the learning curve. I do actually have another DIY project, but it's very relevant to Talk To Me Tuesday. So as you guys know, I, have, I am sewing currently in my garage because my sewing room has been used as a guest room because we have a pandemic guest. And uh, I have moved like, oh, I, I don't even know. I've moved a lot of my stuff down here. All of my furniture is still up there, but I've moved like bins of fabric and my sewing machines. And so most of the stuff that I need to work is down here right now. However, I do not have a design wall in here and I've been pinning stuff to this like piece of sheet back here that's covering all my Christmas decorations. But that's not a design wall. It's like, you know, you can see it behind me. It's not even three feet wide. So while I was at physical therapy, they had screens in between some of the workstations. And these screens were made out of PVC with like uh, clear acrylic or something mounted to it. And I kept looking at that thinking that would make an awesome design wall. So I got online and of course someone had already done that. And I found the best tutorials to be for um, projector screens. And I picked up some things from Lowe's this weekend. I got PVC, I got elbows, I got T-joints, I got everything I needed to make a design wall that I can take apart as needed, but stand up and have it in my garage so that my plan is, I'm pointing over there because my my uh, quilt frame is over there. So my plan is when I'm not quilting to put it in front of my quilt frame so that I can like literally just sit and look at it so I can arrange my blocks and whatever. So I feel like that will be a massive help because one of the things I love making the most are orphan block quilts for Linus. And that is incredibly hard to do if I don't have a design wall because I mix and match sizes and colors and shapes and whatever. And I, that's very hard to do without a place to put them. And obviously I'm not gonna put them on the floor in my garage. So um, hopefully by next week, I will have that to show you guys. Uh, I do have, I, like I said, I have all the PVC and the joints and stuff. Somewhere in all of my mess out here, I have four yards of white flannel that my friend Janice gave me. I can't find it. So um, I tried to spend like 20 minutes before I started recording trying to find it so I could show it to you guys. It's just white flannel, but it is the perfect amount to make this design wall. The plan is to make it six feet by six feet and I'm gonna do three foot sections with uh, couplings in the center so that I can break it down, put it in a bag and take it to retreat with me. Because once I am vaccinated, I'm gonna see people again. And I like, I need that. Anyway, so design wall, hopefully I will have that to show you guys next week. Oh, also, this is what my shirt says. It's one of my favorite shirts to wear to Linus and I'm very hopeful that as vaccinations roll out, Linus will be in-person meetings again. I do think that's all. I hope you guys have a very wonderful week. I hope you have a crafty week. And I cannot wait to see your show and tell. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.